and abundance of gases in Enceladus's ocean are a potential fuel if life is there to consume it, as the University of Washington reports. Until now, the subterranean oceans of Saturn's moon Enceladus were thought to be harsh and utterly unsustainable for life. But now, a closer look reveals that the oceans likely have a similar temperature, salt content, and acidity as our oceans here on Earth. Those factors, plus high concentrations of organic gases, lead scientists to believe that the oceans might harbor microbial life. Though no signs of life have been spotted, the research suggests that Enceladus could be one of the best places outside of Earth to look for it. The presence of such concentrations could provide fuel, a sort of chemical free lunch for living microbes, said the lead researcher, a UW doctoral student in Earth and Space Sciences. Or it could mean that there is hardly anyone around to eat it. The new information about the composition of Enceladus's ocean gives planetary scientists a better understanding of the ocean world's capacity to host life. Enceladus is a small moon, an ocean world about 310 miles 500 kilometers across. Its salty subsurface ocean is of interest because of the similarity in pH, salinity, and temperature to Earth's oceans. Plumes of water vapor and ice particles spotted and studied by the Cassini spacecraft, erupted hundreds of miles into space from the ocean through cracks in Enceladus's ice-encased surface, providing a tantalizing glimpse into what the moon's subsurface ocean might contain. But the lead researcher and colleagues found that the plumes aren't chemically the same as the ocean from which they erupt at 800 miles an hour. The eruption process itself changes their composition. He is working with ESS facility members. They will present their work June 24th at the Astrobiology Conference in Bellevue. Those high levels of carbon dioxide also imply a lower and more Earth-like pH level in the ocean of Enceladus than previous studies have shown. This bodes well for possible life too. Although there are exceptions, most life on Earth functions best living in or consuming water with near neutral pH, so similar conditions on Enceladus could be encouraged. Thanks to Cassini, we know about Enceladus's ocean and the types of gases, salts, and organic compounds that are present there. Studying how the plume composition changes can teach us yet more about the ocean and everything in it. For the article in its entirety, please see the description below. Let's venture into the universe. Thank you so much for watching.